Good day. Welcome Hi. to our weekly conversation. Um, it's great to have you back, Pastor Sally. How was your vacation? It was good. It was great. There was plenty of water and mosquito bites. It's always fun. There you go. There you go. Well, um, this week uh, we are in the middle of our, I should say, towards the end of the Bread of Life series uh, that we've been using with the um, uh, Gospel of John, the sixth chapter. And so this week we're going to talk a little bit about um, Jesus as the bread of life, and it gets a little, a little um, complicated. Let's put it that way, and redundant. Um, so we're going to try to simplify it a little bit on Sunday uh, and on the online worship service with the, with our preaching and things. And we're also going to be doing a walkabout this week again. Um, so if you have a child. Um, and you're coming to church on Sunday morning, uh, just know that if you would like to have that child participate in walkabout immediately following the prayer of the day, uh, the pastor who's not preaching that week uh, will be taking the children out for about 15, 20 minutes, um, and then returning the children back right during the hymn of the day so they can still participate in the prayers and the um, Holy Communion service. So we've got a lot of plans uh, going on this weekend. Uh, we have a prospective member brunch um, on Sunday immediately following worship, uh, beginning at about um, probably around 11.15. We're going to do the brunch outside um, where it will be a little bit safer. And then uh, we'll move back in for the meeting part. But then after that, you've got some exciting plans this, in the afternoon. We are. I And do. <laughs> Um, we are headed over to Mystic Waters uh, Family Aquatic Park, the water park there in Des Plaines. Um, and I'm inviting all of the St. Luke's families uh, to come and join us. Uh, my boys and I will be there. We'd love to have you know a big final splash of summer together before families and kids head back to school. Um, while the park is open 12 to 7 on Sunday, um, we're going to meet about 1.30, uh, and I'm kind of saying 1.30 to 3.30, and then families can pick and choose how long they want to be there. We're going to meet on that southwest lawn by the um, big water slides, and then as a part of it, we'll also be doing uh, some devotion and conversation time around uh, faith and water while we're at the water park. Um, so it'll be exciting. Fun. Sounds like fun. Um, and uh, I know that you've got a message from the library that you wanted to kind of share. Sure. Um, I know part of Sunday school prior to COVID, um, they would go into the library as a part of Sunday school and be able to check out books. Um, and this is your official friendly reminder um, that if your child uh, picked up a St. Luke's book a year ago, almost two years ago, um, and it's a book that you're not sure uh, if it's St. Luke's or not, if you can double check um, I'm sure there are uh, an indicator on the inside. I think in the messenger, there is a note from the library team that has a list of titles. So if you think your kid has uh, brought a book home, I uh, encourage you to bring it back. And if you have a novel, even as an adult that you um, have checked out and it's just been sitting there collecting dust for a few months because you haven't been able to return it, now's a great time. Uh, especially because uh, this last month we did a thriving action grant and have been updating our uh, library system and all the technology and the software that goes with it. So it's going to become even easier to access all of the materials and resources here at the St. Luke's Library. Wonderful. And if you haven't had the opportunity, uh, take advantage of the library. It's an amazing church library. Uh, Gail uh, Larson and her committee do just a wonderful job of keeping it a very up-to-date and um, uh, clean. And so uh, just come on in on Sunday mornings and take a look at it. You'll be really impressed. So I know that there's a letter going out today that kind of describes a little bit about what's going to be going on um, this year with our Christian education. Do you want to Absolutely. highlight that a little bit? So with, we're going to kick off fall with a big splash to summer. Um, and then I know here at the end of August, the majority of the area school districts uh, will start school. Um, we are not going to start um, ours till after 
oh, excuse me, after uh, Labor Day. So beginning in September, that first Sunday uh, after Labor Day, which is the 12th, uh, St. Luke's is going to be moving to two services at 830 and 1045. Uh, it's a little bit sooner. It's, we're not going all the way back to 11 that we were pre-COVID, so 1045. Um, and that education, music, gathering time, fellowship time in between will be roughly uh, 945 to 1030. However, to kick off that season of being together in a new and different way, on the 12th, we are going to be participating in what's known as God's Work, Our Hands Day. Do you want to tell us a little about that? Well, for years, um, the church has been doing this on the, the kind of rally day Sunday. Um, and so our plans this year are to have some uh, church um, volunteer opportunities as well as some outside volunteer opportunities. And so during that hour uh, that we will be together, uh, we'll see a video from the um, our national bishop uh, talking about that and then providing some opportunities uh, for volunteer work here at church or outside um, around the church. So um, that's what we'll be doing on the 12th. So we're looking forward to that. Fantastic. Well, because I know everyone's excited and the weather is going to be perfect and pristine for that day to be outside, <laughs> to get your hands dirty and, you know, and be back at St. Luke's, we're going to have what is known as Rally Day on the 19th. Rally Day is, is that term that is used for gathering back together the program year after it's taken a, a summer hiatus. So on the 19th, Sunday school will begin. Um, confirmation will begin, and we also will be having a parent meeting for our high schoolers and eighth graders who may be interested in attending the ELCA youth gathering next summer in Minneapolis. So lots going on on the 19th and on Sunday. Uh, in addition, uh, the Little Lambs program is going to be kicking off here on Thursday mornings from 10 to 11. Um, this program uh, is very similar to what Little Lambs may have used to be used to do <laughs> as a play group. Um, it's designed to be a parent child class from birth to pre preschool right so but they're not in kindergarten yet. Um, there'll be some faith formation pieces, some crafts, some songs, some conversation, uh, faithful parenting. We all know that it, it takes a village to raise a kid. And um, as people of faith, we hope our village are also people of faith. Right, right. So and as parenting continues to get challenging as kids get older and older, um, the other piece that we are offering for parents uh, is called the Faithful Families series. It's a video series. It actually starts this week uh, on Wednesday evening. Uh, it looks at the research from the Fuller Youth Institute, which is a research-based youth ministry organization that kind of looks at best practices interdenominationally uh, across the Christian church for youth ministry. Um, and they've put out a fantastic five-week series. It has some questions, some conversation points. It's got some video. It's got some research information. I would say it's ideal for parents, grandparents, teachers of kids about eight to 18. Um, but there's absolutely nuggets of fantastic things to think about if your kids are younger than that or even slightly older than that. Um, so we hope that you'll jump on Zoom and be a part of that as well. You had something going on on Wednesday nights as well, haven't you? Well, we've been doing the Black Church, um, which has gone very well. We're actually looking at the um, at a book uh, presently. Um, it's called the color, uh, uh, the color of Compromise. Okay. Um, by Jamar Tinsby. And we looked at that last week. We're going to be studying that again this week. And then on the 25th, uh, which is also Wednesday night, um, Dr. Uh, Kenneth Wheeler is going to be with us. Um, he is a uh, church professional that served in the Greater Milwaukee Synod, also as a pastor up there, who's going to speak to us about what are some of the things that we as a congregation can consider in doing now to help in um, in understanding systemic racism and also understanding um, how we can, as a congregation and as individuals, work to kind of break down some of the systemic uh, issues of racism as, in, in our own ways. Absolutely. So we're looking forward to having him with us. Um, and that will be on the 25th at seven o'clock to 8.30. Um, if you're interested in coming to that particular program, we would encourage you to um, get a hold of me, 
uh, just to request a link for that event and I will send you a link. That would be great. There are lots of ways to get involved here at St. Luke's. Um, we continue to try to reconnect people, especially um, as we near the end of the pandemic, we hope, <laughs> yes. uh, to get re-engaged in the life and the congregation of St. Luke's. So outside of worship, we encourage you to pick one something you're interested in learning more about and becoming a part of. So whether that's, you know, our, our green team or helping with uh, confirmation or with Sunday school or other things that have small group leaders that are needed, um, deciding to be a part of a, a cabinet for a year or get involved in something new, um, here's a chance. You know, as a culture, we've kind of had a Sabbath for a while yep. and a yep, chance absolutely. to really go, okay, what's important? What what matters to me? Um, and I we hope here at St. Luke's that you find something, you know, that sparks an interest that you can continue to be engaged in this community. Wonderful. Well, Pastor Sally, great seeing you. Uh, we hope that um, all of you are doing well as kids are getting ready to go back to school or already started. And it um, seems like the summer just began, but here we are uh, in the fall, raring to go. Here we so, go. All right. You See have you a great soon. day. Take care.